Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming out today. I'm Chris Carter. I'm from the Mayor's Office of New Urban Mechanics, and we are excited to be making a, an announcement here today around safe driving. Uh, this wouldn't have happened without incredible public-private partnership with uh, Arbella Insurance Foundation, uh, Cambridge Mobile Telematics, and all the folks at City Hall in Transportation, Department of Innovation and Technology, uh, and in the Mayor's Office, as well as the Vision Zero Task Force, uh, who uh, is represented here today. Uh, today's announcement, although it is an app, uh, it is not about technology, it's really about uh, civic engagement. And it's about using technology to solve really hard problems. Uh, and there's a saying about uh, if you share a problem, you can cut a problem in half. Uh, the first person I want to introduce I've shared a number of problems with. Uh, I never feel like I actually pull my side of the bargain there. Uh, but the Chief of Streets from the City of Boston, Chris Osgood. Thanks so much, Chris. Thanks for your leadership and the partnership with the newer mechanics team on this project. Uh, Chris asked me to give a little bit of context about today's announcement. Uh, Mayor Walsh has been charging all of his departments to engage our residents in new ways to come up with long-term plans for the city of Boston. So we've been working on plans around housing, around climate change, around arts and culture, and with the leadership of Commissioner Fiendaka, Vinit Gupta, Alice Brown, a, a plan called Go Boston 2030 that's going to transform the city of Boston streets. Uh, in their outreach, in the Transportation Department's outreach to thousands of residents across the city, they've actually heard overwhelmingly a couple of key themes about how the city of Boston, how our residents want our streets to be in the future. They want our streets to be safer, they want transportation to be more reliable, and they want transportation to be more accessible. And the mayor has made it very clear to us that in this process, as we're developing these long-term plans, not to wait if we hear good ideas. So a year ago, uh, the mayor uh, had the city of Boston join the Vision Zero uh, effort. Vision Zero is an international campaign to eliminate roadway fatalities and serious injuries from our streets. With the hard work of Charlotte Fleetwood from the Transportation Department and the collaboration of a number of partners on the Vision Zero Task Force, uh, the City of Boston started this work a year ago. This winter, we drafted our first Vision Zero, Vision Zero Action Plan. In the spring, the mayor put additional funding behind roadway improvements in the City of Boston in our capital budget. And this fall, we broke ground on improvements in Roslindale, on the Mass Ave Corridor, and in Common Square. As folks know, at least uh, all the transportation uh, partners of ours, one of the best things a city government can do is make improvements in the roadway infrastructure and street design to make our roads safer. But one of the best things that we can do as city residents is simply be safer in how we walk and how we cycle and in how we drive. And so today's announcement is really about both those things, about giving the city information it can use to make our streets in their design and in their infrastructure safer, but giving each of us as residents, each of us as people who are driving or walking or riding through our streets, better feedback about how we can do each of those activities uh, in a more safe way. So I want to introduce the person who is pushing us every single day to use new technology and new approaches to make our streets safer, to make our roads better, and that's our mayor, Mayor Martin J. Walsh. Thank you very much, Chris, and I want to thank Chris and everything he does uh, around transportation for our city. I want to thank Chris Connor and the Urban Mechanics as well uh, for their great work. I want to introduce a few people that are with us today that, that aren't speaking, but uh, that are very important to not just what we're doing here today, but for our overall safety in the city of Boston. One is the commissioner of our Public Health Commission, uh, Director Monica Valdez Lupe is with us. Thank you, Monica, for being with us. Our Commissioner of Transportation, Gina Fandaka, is with us. I want to thank you, uh, Commissioner, as well for your great work. I want to thank uh, our partners in this uh, Cambridge Mobile Telematics, Walk Boston, Arbella Insurance. Thank you very much as well for, uh, for being with us today and what we're announcing. Um, Last year, 23 people lost their life in traffic crashes in our city. Another 4,300 were injured, and when you think of a city our size, uh, that's a high number. This is a very serious issue, and we're making a real commitment uh, through the Vision Zero program to elim eliminate traffic deaths and serious injuries by the year 2030. And I know some people here have, have been injured by traffic accidents. We've factored, as Chris just mentioned, with our budget, we saw legislation work its way through the State House to reduce speed limits in the city. Uh, we're looking at new technology uh, to enforce and to reduce speeding in our streets. As we're working on our infrastructure, and we're educating ro road users on how to maximize safety, and I think that's one of the biggest things we can do is make sure we educate all people. That's the area where innovation 
can help us and we can actually even have some fun with it. Boston Safest Driver is a competition that encourages drivers to reflect on their driving and improve their driving habits. It's much more about engaging than a typical safety campaign. A cell phone app will show participants while they're driving, falling short, working on their ability, scoring them compared to other drivers, and rewarding them for progress. It doesn't stop at city, the city limits. It's open to 101 cities and towns all across Massachusetts. There are a range of weekly prizes and a grand prize of $2,000 based on the last two weeks of the contest, which ends December 3rd. I want to thank Abella for the prizes, uh, for being such a, a good partner in this. Distracted drivers is one, one of the biggest risks that we have today, in large part due to cell phone use. I remember as a state representative, when I was at the legislature, uh, we passed the no texting bill right before I left and was elected mayor of the city of Boston. Before that, we had a long debate about cell phone using while you're driving. And at that point, the legislature wasn't ready to ban the use of cell phones completely while driving. And I think it's important for us to, as we go along with this program here, to see how it works. We can use that same mobile technology to help drivers and better focus them as they're driving in our city and our Commonwealth. The app runs on the background of a phone. In fact, scores are penalized for handling phones while moving, so drivers are incentivized not to touch the phone while they're driving. This is the first time that a city has used emerging technology of telematics. It's a field where Boston startups are national leaders. I want to thank Cambridge Mobile Telematics. The app is available in, in Google Play and Apple, the Apple App Store. Boston has, Boston has a history of aggressive drivers. I don't know if we're really worse or better than other cities, but I know that we need to make sure we bring change. The numbers that I mentioned earlier are too alarming. When I started the year off this year, every year when the, when the clock goes from December 31st over to January 1st, I mentioned I start my phone call every morning with Commissioner Evans to tell me what's going on in the city of Boston. And for the first couple of weeks in the city of Boston, we didn't have a death due to violence. But we had several deaths due to accidents on the road with pedestrians walking in crosswalks and walking down the street. We need to do everything we can to eliminate that. A lot of people come to our city every year. A lot of tourists are walking by this area right here. We need to make sure that as they come and experience our city, they experience a safe city by all means of safe city. So I want to thank you all for being here today. I want to thank you for covering this for the press. Our, our goal here is to make Boston streets, roads, and sidewalks safer for all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the idea for this started uh, about a year ago, so uh, I had never heard of telematics before, but it turns out that we have one of the premier telematics companies in the world uh, right in our backyard here in Cambridge. Uh, so Charlotte Fleetwood uh, of the Transportation Department, who runs a lot of our Vision Zero work for the city, uh, made an introduction to Cambridge Mobile Telematics, uh, and since then we've been working to get to this day. They've been an amazing partner so far. Uh, I want to introduce their Chief Technology Officer, Hari Krishnan, who is part entrepreneur, part uh, MIT professor, part technologist, part wizard. Uh, without further ado. Uh, thanks, Chris, for that kind introduction, and good morning to all of you. Um, on behalf of our team at Cambridge Mobile Telematics, and particularly my partners and co-founders Sam Madden and uh, Bill Powers, uh, let me start with some thanks. <clears throat> First of all, to the mayor for his incredible leadership at bringing initiatives like this to the city of Boston, just the use of advanced technology to make lives better for our people. Uh, second, to the mayor's office for new urban mechanics, and in particular, Chris Carter, who really stewarded this entire program. And last but not least, uh, I would like to thank the Vision Zero Task Force and a key member of that task force from the Boston Transportation Department, Charlotte Fleetwood, uh, for all her help in putting this uh, project together. Uh, we're delighted that they chose us to develop Boston's safest driver, and uh, we're delighted to partner with Arbella 
and the city to make Boston's roads safer. Since 2013, crashes around the country and around the world have been on the rise. If you look at the first six months of 2014 and compare that to the first six months of 2016, in the United States, um, statistics are that crashes and fatalities, road fatalities, have gone up about 18%. Vehicles have actually become safer. So one of the biggest factors in this rise is phone distraction. This is a problem around the world, around the co country, and around our city. Over the past five and a half years, our team at Cambridge Mobile Telematics, based right here in Boston, spinning out of research done at MIT, has been focused single-handedly and single-mindedly on safe driving. Our mission at CMT is to make roads safer by making drivers better. And we're using smartphones to achieve that goal, using smartphones to show that safe drivers are made, not born. By harnessing the sensors on your phone, such as accelerometers and gyroscopes and position sensors, our talented team of engineers and data scientists at Cambridge Mobile Telematics has pioneered a safe driving program that we call DriveWell. Uh, we now have over 20 customers and are deployed in the United States and 14 countries around the globe. CMT's products are being used now by millions of people, uh, and we find that with our program, distracted driving drops by 35% or more across all users within the first 30 days uh, of using this program. Uh, and in addition, other risk factors like hard braking and speeding at risk speeding drop by about 20% or more across all users, all within about 30 days of using the program. Now, given our national and global footprint, it is extremely gratifying and important for us at CMT to now focus really hard on our home city. Boston's Safest Driver is the first, world's first public-private partnership focused on a safe driving application. As the mayor noted, the app is very easy to use. Just install it from the Apple or Play Store, register via Facebook or email, and that's about it. The app automatically recognizes when you're driving, uh, when you're on a trip, and starts recording sensor data. The data is processed at the end of the trip, and that analysis determines whether you're a driver or a passenger in a car, and it provides an accurate model of key at-risk factors. Hard braking, hard acceleration, sharp cornering, uh, the use of the phone, like phone distraction, um, and at-risk speeding. And all of that is done just by looking and analyzing at the sensor data coming from your phones. The app is also able to recognize bike rides and bus trips and train trips, and you get points for such activities as well. The app also allows you to, mis uh, to label misclassified trips, and then it learns from that to become even better at automatically classifying what it is the user is doing. And it does all of this with very little battery drain. So at the end of each trip, you can look at the results, look at how you're doing overall, and compare your driving with your friends, uh, and you can invite your friends and family to participate. This is a great app for families and friends to use, and is a great self-improvement tool for both teenagers and for seasoned drivers. Now, I want to riff on the ad that you see here about what Boston is good at. Boston's actually good at three things, well known for three things. Our passion for sporting contests and our great professional sports teams and championships, um, revolutions, and in addition, some of the finest technology and science in the world, including the advances that we made at MIT that led to Cambridge Mobile Telematics and gave us many members of our team. Now, as the ad says, we're not actually good, known for good driving. Well, I think that should change with this application. Using some great technology, which Boston's very good at, combining it with the fun of a sporting contest that everybody in Boston will get excited about, uh, we think that this app will launch a revolution in safe driving and try to make Boston one of the safest cities for driving. It'll make a road safer not only for cars, but also for bicyclists, walkers, and runners. And it's all been made right here in Boston, so please check it out. Tell your friends and family, and above all, please drive well. Thank you. Uh, the next person I want to introduce, uh, so the City of Boston has a Vision Zero task force that's comprised of not just uh, city agencies, but also outside advocacy groups. One of those is Walk Boston, and when we were talking through uh, this contest and competition with that group, uh, they raised their hand and said, is there a way that we can reward people who aren't taking car trips, maybe they're taking other types of trips, whether it's on a train, 
or a bus or on a bicycle. Uh, and for that very reason, if you have this app and you are doing trips that way, uh, you still have an opportunity to win some prizes through that. Uh, I want to introduce Brendan Kearney from Walk Boston. Thank you, Chris, and thank you, Mr. Mary, Mayor. Uh, thank you for including Walk Boston in this launch of Boston's Safest Driver. Walk Boston is a nonprofit pedestrian advocacy organization working to make walking safer and easier for all Massachusetts residents. Boston's Vision Zero commitment to eliminate traffic fatalities and serious crashes is built upon a need for engineering, enforcement, and education. It's not either or, but yes and. Traffic fatalities are on the rise across the U.S., and Vision Zero is a framework to address this problem. This app is a demonstration of how Massachusetts' innovation economy is partnering with the City of Boston and taking a step forward to address the issue of education. Thank you to the Mayor and all your staff. We have lots of work to do, but know you'll help make, us, help make Boston safer no matter how people are getting around. Thank you. And the last person I want to introduce today, uh, six months ago when we were trying to find somebody who would sponsor the competition element of this, we had a chat with Arbella Insurance Foundation. Uh, it was probably a half an hour later that I had a call back from them saying that they were excited uh, and wanted to work with us. So I would like to introduce Megan Glenn from Arbella Insurance Foundation. Thank you, Chris. The Arbella Insurance Foundation is thrilled to partner with the city for the Boston Safest Driver competition. Arbella has always been committed to giving back to the community. That's why we created the Arbella Insurance Foundation in 2004, to support nonprofit organization and causes that have a significant positive impact on the people and communities served by Arbella. Arbella's foundation has consistently been committed to keeping our roads safe by taking a stand against dangerous driving practices, including distracted driving and drunk driving. What you see here is our Distractology mobile distracted driving simulator. We first launched Distractology in 2010 as one of the first programs in the country to address distracted driving among young, inexperienced drivers. Since then, we've brought the program to more than 120 towns across New England. Based on Arbella's foundation-funded research conducted by UMass Amherst, the trailer features, features a mobile classroom outfitted with high-tech driving simulators. The classroom travels to high schools across New England and leads students through a variety of distracted driving scenarios created by smartphones, streaming music, and even eating, both residential and highway conditions, allowing them to experience firsthand the seriousness of the consequences. To date, more than 11,000 teenagers have completed the Distractology training, and the results really speak for themselves. Drivers, have, drivers who have completed Distractology are proven to be almost 20% less likely to have an accident, and 25% less, less likely to get a traffic violation. We encourage you to check out the Distractology classroom for yourselves today. Our hope is that the scenarios continue to encourage folks of all ages to avoid distractions at the wheel. We are proud to partner with the city on this first of its kind competition. Arbella is committed to making our streets safer and Boston's Safest Driver competition is the perfect way to rally the community to achieve this goal. So clearly, if we were having a press conference on technology, transportation, and insurance, we could do about 10 hours here in Boston. Um, I do want to call out uh, one other person in the Vision Zero Task Force, Becca Wolfson, Executive Director of the Boston Cyclist Union, who joined us here today. So thank you, Becca. Uh, in closing, download the app, uh, and then the trailer will be here all day for anybody that wants to test out the simulator. Uh, but thank you all for coming today, and uh, we look forward to seeing who's on the top of the leaderboard by this time next uh, week.